Now, we often hear how much high-quality filmmaking and animation activity is happening here in town, but for most of us, encountering a lot of it isn't always easy. Well, that's where Cinema KC comes in. Tonight at 10.30, KCPT will begin airing the locally made series, which has already been running for two seasons on a commercial TV station. Randy Mason sat down to learn more with Cinema KC's inquisitive hosts, Michelle Davidson and Erin McGrain. The filmmakers that make up Cinema KC must be awfully excited to have this kind of opportunity because for years and years we've heard that while Kansas City has a lot of activity, there's not been too much of a place to put it. Did you sense that right off the bat, that people really liked having that? Yeah, I think that's true. And, and I think it's not just the filmmakers that are excited about it, but the general public because a lot of people actually don't know how much film and TV is happening here. And there's a lot of it, and it's a, at a very high quality, so um, high level. And uh, so I think it's not just the filmmakers that are excited, but the, the public as well. It's exciting because so often we get excited to see our film on a big screen. It's a thrill to sit with the audience yeah. and they're reacting to it. But sometimes you don't get many people to come to the theater, you know, or mm -hmm. even if you saw the theater, it's nothing like being able to broadcast to a wide audience in um, the TV world. So I think people are thrilled just to share their work with as many people as possible because they're so proud and should be. There's so much talent here. Especially in the short for, short films as well, you know, if it's not within the context of a film festival, that film might not get shown a lot. Mm -hmm. There's not an opportunity mm -hmm. to see it unless you're interested in going to film festivals and interested already in the film world. So this is reaching people that mm -hmm. aren't going to the film festivals but might get a chance to see their own film festival at home. Exactly. Is know. that the way you think of it when you're, you're interviewing these people, that is their own film festival at home? You know, when you go to a film festival, I love attending film festivals yeah, and too. it's great because you get to meet the filmmaker mm -hmm. afterward and ask them questions there's usually a Q&A and that's kind of the fun part about attending film festivals and we get to sit down with these amazing people after watching their film yeah. and ask them our questions and we get help from um, all the producers and people involved in the show but you always want to hear what happened on production or um, what were the actors like or how did you find your budget and all those things that that I'm curious about mm -hmm. and I think the audience is too. Yeah. Is it even more rewarding because these are people that you've sort of maybe had some tangential connection with over time? Mm -hmm. I know both of you work in the industry, and yet you get to see them get the spotlight for a change. Yeah, that's always great. It never seems like there's enough time. We always have more questions <laughs> than we have time, almost always. It's fascinating to, to get a peek into their process, and mm -hmm. um, maybe someone we wor have worked with as a director, but to hear them talk about... Mm -hmm. um, the inception of the story or how they began writing it or you know maybe that's something I wouldn't ask them if I was working with them as a director so it's great to see things from all different sides. And we've met some really interesting filmmakers that I didn't even know anything about yeah. uh, like nine-year-olds oh, yeah. <laughs> that are out that. making yeah. films in other countries and telling stories that are yeah. just so impactful. So this show for me has been a really great vehicle to meet some talent that I hadn't even heard about and we're pretty involved, I would yeah. say, in the film community. Yeah, I talk about up and coming. It doesn't get much more up and coming than nine-year-olds <laughs> making, you know, Are we all in trouble? Films. There's, there's nine-year-olds <laughs> yeah. bucking for our jobs here. Yeah. We should pretty much, yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Watch out. Yeah, watch yeah talented too. So. <laughs> well, and, uh, what, what's the name of you names. I mean, you animation, I know, is one of the things that yeah. Kansas City seems to be pretty big on. Uh, I think Bruce Brannett, for example, has been yeah. one of the featured people. Others come to mind that, that you know, you've really you know, watched, hit the airwaves and thought, what a, what a service we're doing to get these things out. Well, I think there's some of the big names like Bruce, obviously, and Patrick Gray, who are, you know, very established, well-known um, people in the film industry here. But I think there's some other people that have made um, films of passion for... I, for example, I think my favorite one this year was a film made by Barclay Martin and, Brian, and uh, um, uh, Paul Pierce, and that was a documentary about their time in the Philippines, and that was really a film of passion, not from filmmakers, but from people who have a story to tell, from storytellers using film as the medium. So it's great to um, be able to represent that wide range of, of reasons people are making a film, so that's been a, a fun one for me this year. I think our very first show is with Bruce Brannett, and he's amazing. I mean, he's yeah. created work for yeah. Lost yeah. and Breaking Bad and has been nominated for national Emmys. Um, but there are a lot of really talented people that are creating kind of mind-blowing graphics. 
just sitting in front of a computer. Um, and I don't know how they do it. I really don't. I still, you know, we ask them questions, they explain it. I'm, it's still way over my head. But it also always goes back to story. And I think whether it's um, live action or animation, we are showing really great films that connect with people, that are about people, yeah. um, that maybe might change your life after you watch it. A five minute film that you might look at the world differently after seeing it. So I think that's pretty powerful. Powerful in in the community in a sense that nobody's really making a lot of money off this project. I'm guessing yeah. Cinema KC done for the love of it by a bunch of people who probably by now could have said, "Oh, enough's enough." You know? It's actually a hundred percent volunteer effort. Mm -hmm. That means every single person involved with the show, from the production house um, to all the way to the host and all the guests, no one is being paid for it. It is absolutely a labor of love. And we have so much fun. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, if you're going to do something like for free, you might as well love <laughs> it. Yeah. And we're like yeah. a little family, and we laugh on set, and it's not live. It's taped, thank goodness, because there yeah. are some times that Garrett and I have to be like, <laughs> oh, <over."> okay, <laughs> let's go back, which is, which cool is kind of fun, yeah. yeah. And it gives our guests, because they're so used to being behind the camera. Yeah. This is their first chance. They're kind of sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, getting a little, you know, and then there they just is. warm up. And I think some of them might want to be actors after their experience. They really loved it. They liked the spotlight, I think. Yeah. Well, somewhere I heard this is kind of an umbrella organization, the only mm -hmm. place where really it's, it's not some particular group's films. It's, it's pretty much for everyone, right? Yes, that's absolutely true. Everything from student film makes, makers all the way to, you know, Kansas City Women in Film and mm -hmm. Television and, er, and everything everything in between, whether it's professional organizations or um, it's, it's about the films. And so mm -hmm. we definitely um, welcome anyone who's making, making film. There are, a lot of, there, sorry, there are a lot of organizations that um, help emerging filmmakers, student mm. filmmakers like Real Spirit, which is very successful mm. in the Kansas City area that's encouraging uh, student filmmakers to tell their stories and, uh, um, and uh, express themselves through the visual medium. And so it's exciting to kind of bring everybody together. And it is a, a film, it's, it's a show to celebrate filmmakers and um, not just one area of the yeah. film community. Yeah, not one special interest at all. There, there's no special interest. We're, we're interested in, in everybody's film. And our executive producers do a, a terrific job of, of um, you know, finding the films and selecting mm -hmm. the films. And, mm -hmm. and uh, what, you know, there's so many. We're already looking ahead at next season. There's already more this season than we could cover. It's amazing. Well, speaking of which, we should be self-promoting the fact that you've come over to public television. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Is that a good home? Yes. It's a perfect fit. Thrilled. I think it's perfect. We're so too. happy to be yeah. here. Yeah. Thanks Str for having us. Yeah, you are most welcome. <laughs> uh, you know, with screen time, we've been able to show some people's documentaries, but often the shorts and, and things that, you know, little bits and pieces have been hard for us to find ways to get onto the air. So mm -hmm. we appreciate you packaging them up. They're going to be on Thursday nights at 1030, mm -hmm. starting October 3rd, right off the bat here. We get Cinema Casey on the air, and you're already planning season four, huh? You know, it's already in the works. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really fun. I think every season we've gotten better mm -hmm. at um, making the show just more fun and more smooth. And, and um, so we're really excited about this season. We're super proud of it. We had fantastic guests. Mm -hmm. um, the production just couldn't have gone better really this year. So we're excited for people to see the new season. And I think the world of Aaron, so to get oh. to next to sit next to her and yeah. hang out. We're, just, <laughs> we're friends yeah. So in real life. So it's so nice to go to work with your friend. Yeah. and. And, um, and the, the crew and producers, everyone's really amazing. And they, you know, they're working hard to spotlight these local filmmakers and, and uh, putting in lots of hours. Yes. Lots of hours. Many, but many I think hours. hopefully it'll pay off and all of your viewers will enjoy it. It gives them that chance to, yeah. to really see how much is going on here, which is what we try to do here on KCPT and particularly on the local show. So, Michelle Davidson. Erin McGrain, thanks so much for coming down and telling us about Cinema KC. Great to Thank see you. you. Thanks so much.